Street outside Iowa City. You trigger pretty? Oh, okay. Take your hand off your butt. He's nothing without that uniform. Take your hand off your butt. Take your hand off your butt. Take your hand off your butt. If anyone's just joined, this is outside Iowa City. Why are you still here? Why do you support a racist system? Do you want me to back up? Shut the fuck up. Nobody's touching you. Why do I need to back up? 
Anyway, you get the idea for right now. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. Um, Get out of here! 
This is a line of Black Lives Matter protesters taking off with the uh, Hey, hey, Take a seat. Hey, hey, Marched up the highway, occupying both lanes, inbound and outbound. And uh, came to this spot that we've been here, I don't know how long. So, the, the, the group just a moment ago took a vote whether or not they wanted to stay or go. It's, it looked like the, the state. It's been like this for a while, yeah. I mean, um, basically the protesters chanting. Don't care about this. I have to you all have to not make me get off here. Look at us, bitches! Right! I think it is. Yeah, it's not getting on the car. It's not getting on the car. You're 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 not getting Again, um, I'm just here documenting what's happening. I mean, uh, my name is Mike Anderson. I'm a reporter with the Independent Media Project. This is outside Iowa City. We've been rolling for quite a while now. Um, I don't feel comfortable breaking off. I mean, it's been like this for a good long time. But uh, I, uh, it's kind of a tense situation between, uh, you know, I mean, the, just to be fair to the situation here, the state troopers have shown and made no moves this entire time to make any arrests. Um, certainly that hasn't been characteristic of other interactions in the past, but tonight, you know, as you've seen, we are right up, like, you know, I mean, they, these, these protesters are right in the faces of the, uh, these officers. And, uh, yeah. It's, yes, it's been peaceful so far on, on both sides. Black women matter! Black women matter! Everywhere we go! People want to know! Oh, we are! Oh, we tell them! We are the people! Anyway, so, yep, that over there is I-80. That back there is Iowa City. Over here you got some people with the press. We've been here for a while now, just holding. Um, just observing what's going on on both sides. Um, not sure what the, the next, um, I'm not sure what's going to happen next. I don't think anybody really is. So, I mean, again, this has been the this, this scene here for a while. No, 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 no,
What are you gonna do? No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. That really didn't do shit. I was still right here. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. So it's it's worth noting. Um, yes, it's been peaceful on both sides. Very tense, I would say. The, the, the police, you know, the protesters are right up against this pretty thin line of officers. I think there's only, I don't know, did you count how many? Like, there's maybe, there's, there's maybe six or seven officers over here, maybe even yeah. less, honestly. And, uh, you know, they've just been, they, you know, they don't have riot gear on. The protesters, the, there's been no arrests made so far. Again, this is outside Iowa City. Um, it, this has been the scene for a long time. It's been peaceful on both sides up to this point. I'm still, I'm just keeping it rolling because, I mean, uh, who knows what's going to happen. I'm, again, keeping off to the side here. Um, Yeah, you know, I know <laughs> if I do though, it's gonna go like that, and then it's gonna tell me to rotate my phone. This is just how it happened when I turned it on. So if you prefer it this way, I can do that. But I think I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do a quick walk around, Alex. I'll be right back. So this is an idea of what the crowd is like. A good 200 or so people here, at least. Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure what the average age of the protesters are. My guess would be in their 20s. Low 20s. different angle on the situation. Again, this is outside Iowa City.
For anyone just tuning in, this is Iowa City, Iowa, outside, yeah, on the edge of town. I'm just going to get back to my spot here with my buddy. What's up? They seem to be calling it. The protesters? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a movement. So, okay, this is the first uh Okay, so the group is starting to break up a little bit here. Not sure, I mean, some people are staying, some people are breaking off that way. So a big chunk of the group is kind of broken out this way. All right, looks like the organizers are telling people to head out. Make a rule, guys! Make a rule! 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 Make a rule!
keep it up. No, that's dumb. That's dumb. Look at that in your bedroom. That's stupid. Yeah. I'm fucking pumped now. Okay. Everybody else, if you are not security, please call. What? Well. Well then, yeah. <laughs> yes, well. Yeah. That was <laughs> So okay folks. Um Um yeah, Mike here, independent media thing. I'm uh Yeah, that's this is outside Iowa City on Dubuque Street. Uh, University of Iowa, home of University of Iowa, a group of Black Lives Matter protesters, I'm going to guess 200 or so, uh, had a very long, uh, uh, I don't know what the, standoff, I don't like that word, it's used a lot, because standoff I feel like has like confrontational, like, like there's an armed standoff, which is not what happened here, just to be clear, I don't like that word, what it was though, <laughs> let's use the word face off. <laughs> I don't know why I like that better. Um, yeah, like, anybody watching saw the protesters were right up in the faces of the uh, Iowa State Patrol. There was a thin line of them. Uh, well, I, I should say a sparsely, a sparse line some of... Some would say a thin a th Yeah, line. some would say... <laughs> God damn it. I walked right into that one. Fuck. Yeah, some would say, as my friend Alex just said, a thin blue line. Between, between, I'm gonna get this fucking thing off my face. Between the protesters and, um, ugh, God damn it. Ugh. So yeah, a thin, li a thin line between the protesters and, um, yeah, the, the interstate, which is where they were headed, Interstate 80, which is back that way. So, I mean, eh, eh, God damn um, Just no arrests made that I saw. And if there, you know, I'm fairly confident that, to say that there were no arrests made tonight. Uh, at least during this portion of the evening. Uh, if there had been, if the police had taken anybody from the line, I feel like we would have known about it. No arrests made. No, f it didn't come to physical blows or the use of less than lethal munitions. Is that the, I can't remember, non-lethal or, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it's called either. <laughs> anyway, it was a long, it was a long kind of tense situation. Uh, you know, uh, state troopers, uh, they were not wearing riot gear. It did not appear that they had um, paddy wagons ready for mass arrest. But as you saw, there were a lot of vehicles there. Uh, there were like two lines of them. So, I mean, that's the situation. I can't think of, was there anything else, Alex, that stuck out to you about what happened? I mean, uh, not necessarily. There's, I don't know how they normally operate, but that one guy was touching his gun a lot. And, uh, yeah. Um, they definitely, they were all not wearing masks. That was, a, that seems to be a thing. Yeah. I don't know if, um, I don't know if that's common amongst the state troopers or not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I accidentally touched the filters button and now it's trapped on my face. Oh, no. So, anyway, yeah, what were you saying, Alex? Um, so they were, none of the state troopers were, were wearing masks. And, um, like, one of them was, was pretty big on touching his gun. Uh, there was a very tense moment where um, I was locked in on, on the trooper, like, hands firmly on like on weapon belt. yeah and belt yeah. and uh as, as one of the protesters um uh, was speaking to him and uh yeah that was not and and um he he eventually let up and, and took his hands off of his weapon 
uh, which right. was also very tense. I was I was wondering what were you thinking then? Like why were your hands yeah. there to begin with? Right, um, and I think that was that's kind of characteristic of the entire evening. There were, the the protesters would kind of uh, harangue the officers about something, you know, like why is your hand on your gun? Yeah. And uh, and then you know and eventually you know what you saw was the pro you know eventually they would they would basically convince them to take their hands off their weapons and that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah. So is... that's something. Yeah. Um. Yeah, lots of making fun of the officers' shoes going on um, and their physical appearances, which I've seen at other protests. Yeah. You know, there's some videos of that. I don't know if anyway. So, I mean, I think that's it for now, folks. I mean, the group... I can't turn the camera back because my phone's all jacked up now, but I'm just going to point point it off this way. You can see the group. You know, it looks like they're heading back to Iowa City. They're forming up, doing the circle thing, which they normally do. They're going to hold space here for a little while and kind of amp themselves up. So I'm going to use...